A simple pendulum is vibrating with an angular amplitude of 90 degree as shown in figure. For what value of theta is the acceleration directed? First one, vertically upwards. Second one, horizontally. And third, vertically downwards. This is a question from the chapter Oscillations. So in this question, we are having a simple pendulum whose angular amplitude is 90 degree. Mind you, angular amplitude is 90 degree. Okay. And uh, we are supposed to find out what at what angle of theta will the acceleration be directed vertically upwards, be horizontal and be uh, directed vertically downwards. So three things we have to identify. The theta at which these three things occur. Okay. So now, I have represented a bob here, it's having a mass m, so the weight is acting downwards, that is mg, and there is a tension I have drawn here, at a particular point, say at a height h, from the top, from the point of suspension, it is making an angle theta with respect to the vertical, by geometry we can write, this is actually 90 minus theta, so for this will be theta, and this is also theta, okay. Now, AC is actually the centripetal acceleration coming there. It is actually moving in a circular arc, which means there will be a centripetal acceleration towards the center. Okay. And correspondingly, there is a tangential acceleration also, tangent to the path. Okay. Now, let's resolve this AC into its corresponding components. So, one component will be in this direction, that will be AC cos theta, because theta is adjacent to this side. And this component will be AC sine theta. Okay. Similarly, AT can be resolved. So in this direction, we will have AT sine theta. And in this direction, you will have AT cos theta because that is theta is adjacent to that side. Clear? Now, MG can also be resolved. How can MG be resolved? In this direction, we can resolve MG. And this will, component will correspond to mg sine theta. Okay. And a component in this direction that will correspond to mg cos theta. Okay. This is nine. This will be corresponding to theta. Clear. So I have done all the res, uh, resolving part over there. Now, the first case. If the acceleration is directed vertically upwards, then what will be theta? Now, if the acceleration is directed vertically upwards means there should only be a vertical acceleration there, right? In the upward direction. Which means in the downward direction, the acceleration must be what? Zero. Therefore, you can write if it is vertically upward means the acceleration in the downward direction should be zero or AT sine theta should be equal to zero. Now, when is the value of sine theta zero? When theta is equal to 0 degree. So when theta is equal to 0 degree, the acceleration will be directed vertically upwards. Clear? Right? And the next question I'm going to answer is when or at what angle of theta is the acceleration directed vertically downwards? If the direction of the acceleration is vertically downwards, then we can say that the component of the upward acceleration should be zero. So upward acceleration, AC cos theta should be equal to zero, right? And when is the value of theta zero? The value of theta is zero. It becomes zero at theta equal to 90 degree. So this is for vertically up and this is for vertically down, clear? Okay, but two parts of the question we have already answered. So vertically up, theta is equal to 0 and vertically down, theta equal to 90. Okay, if it is vertically down, upward component of acceleration will be absent and vice versa in the other case. Right. Now, another part of the question is, at what angle of theta is the acceleration horizontal? If the acceleration is horizontal, that means... The vertical components should not be present over there, right? 
And if the vertical component should not be present there, that means the vertical component should be equal and opposite and should cancel out. Which means we can write AC cos theta should be equal to AT sin theta if the acceleration at a particular point has to be horizontal. Okay. Now, tell me, how do you find the value of AC? AC is actually the centripetal force, right? So, AC is actually equal to V square by R. Fine. I have taken this as H. So, based on that, I can say that if the initial velocity is 0, using the formula, V square minus U square is equal to 2GH. I can write V square is equal to 2GH. Okay. And now, if L is the length of the string, if L is the length of the string, that will actually correspond to R, right? So, V square by L. From this triangle, from the triangle A, B, C, we can see that, we can see that cos theta is actually equal to H by L, right? So, what is H equal to? L cos theta and we can substitute down there. So, you will be getting this as 2GL cos theta. Okay? Now, substituting, what do you get AC? What do you get the value of AC? Yes. The value of AC will be equal to, AC will be equal to 2GL cos theta divided by L, or that is 2G cos theta. Clear? You got the value of AC. Right? Now, how do you determine AT? Look at the figure. From the figure, one thing is very clear. What is that? AT is in this direction. In that same direction, we have a component of mg, which is mg sine theta, right? So we can write, we can write, AT is actually equal to, AT is actually equal to mg sine theta. It's not AT, it's, actually, it's MAT, which is actually equal to mg sin theta or from here you can write at is equal to g sin theta right because at is in the same direction as mg sin theta we can write m at is equal to mg sin theta or at is g sin theta okay so we can substitute the value for ac and at over here so you'll be getting what was ac it was 2g cos theta into cos theta that is equal to what is at g cos sin theta into sin theta okay this is actually g and g gets cancels out cancel out so that will be cos square theta sin square theta so this will be tan square theta will be equal to 2 what is tan square theta equal to 2 now let's draw a small triangle here so this is theta Tan theta means opposite side by adjacent side, right? So what will be tan theta from here? Root 2. So this is root 2 and this will be 1. So the hypotenuse will be what? Make use of Pythagoras here and you will be getting root of 2 plus 1. So this will be root 3. Okay. Now as per the options we get cos theta is equal to 1 by root 3 or theta is equal to cos inverse of 1 by root 3. So, if the component of acceleration, if the acceleration has to be horizontal, like I said, in the vertical directions, the acceleration should cancel out each other, which means that is possible only when theta corresponds to cos inverse of 1 by root 3. Okay? I hope the three parts in the questions are clear for you. In case you have any doubts, do comment below. Okay? Thank you.